Hello! This video will go through the proper setup of your Crystal Fire Plus DSI or Direct Spark Ignition Burner. Gas and electric hookups on the Crystal Fire Plus DSI burners should always be performed by licensed professionals. This video is intended to be an aid to those professionals. For full installation requirements, make sure to read and follow the instruction manual that came with your burner. All DSI Crystal Fire Plus burners are constructed of 304 stainless steel to withstand the harshest of elements. They have extruded ports to provide taller flames and to shed rain away from the burner ports, and have a waterproof housing to assure the valve and module stay dry and reliable. All Crystal Fire Plus DSI burners are UL tested and proved, and the feature content of these burners makes them perfect for commercial and high-end residential applications. You will need the following tools for setup. Work gloves, safety glasses, a utility knife, two adjustable wrenches, a Phillips screwdriver, a leak detection device or solution. Step one is to open the burner box and inspect the contents. You will find the burner with DSI valve and module housing attached, an on-off switch, a small switch bypass, an emergency button or e-stop, a three and a half volt transformer, an instruction manual, and clear glass gem media. Crystal Fire Plus DSI burners are fuel type specific and need to be ordered for either natural gas or propane. We do not recommend field converting these burners. Inspect your fire pit area to make sure you have everything present to complete the installation and setup. The plumber and electrician should have already pre-ran the gas and electrical lines to the fire pit enclosure. For ease of making gas connections, you should use a noise reducing flex with half inch flare fittings on both sides to connect your gas line to the burner valve. Notice the noise reducing flex has staggered coils that break up the harmonics of the gas flowing through the flex. You risk a loud flow of gas or whistle by not using this flex line. You can order these in various sizes at OutdoorRooms.com. The electrical requires a covered junction box to keep the valve's transformer dry. The transformer on this burner is elongated and makes finding the covered junction box a bit more difficult. You can order a covered junction box to fit this elongated plug at OutdoorRooms.com, part number CF-DSI-JB. If controlling the burner with a supplied switch on the appliance, pre-install the switch and control panel on the enclosure. Set the burner on top of the pit enclosure. We recommend laying down a heavy drop cloth to protect the top of the fire pit from scratches. Connect to the gas flex line to the inlet section of the valve using two adjustable wrenches. Check all other connections for tightness before proceeding. Now let's connect all your wires. Connect the 5 pin connector coming off the DSI box to the 5 pin connector coming off the on off switch on the unit. If you desire to not have a switch on the unit, you will simply install the switch bypass as shown here to allow you to switch the burner away from the pit by controlling the power to the outlet to which the transformer is connected. Verify the wires labeled sparker, sensor, and ground on the DSI box are connected to the sparker, sensor, and ground wires coming off the burner. These connections should have been pre-made at the factory. Connect the positive and negative wires to the transformer wires. It is important that the positive goes to the positive and the negative goes to the negative. Before plugging in your transformer, it's important to know that if you have power to the junction box and if your switch is in the on position or you have the bypass switch installed, the flame will turn on. Best to make sure the switch is in the off position and your power is shut off to the junction box before this step. If you are using controls away from the appliance, your electrician should have wired a switch or timer on the electrical circuit and if applicable install the e-stop on the same circuit. To test fire the unit and check for gas leaks, make sure gas is turned on to the pit area. Prop up the burner on one end to check for leaks. Turn on the switch on the enclosure or wall to start the burner. Quickly check for leaks at all fittings. It is important to never burn a Crystal Fire Plus burner for more than 30 seconds without media covering the burner, or damage to the burner will occur. Set the burner back into the fire pit enclosure and evenly place media on the burner's surface. It is important if you have the ignition wind guard as shown here, you must have media in this area. If using the standard clear glass gems, we found that approximately 42 gems is the ideal amount within this wind guard area. This complete setup. You are now ready to enjoy your Crystal Fire Plus burner. Please go to OutdoorRooms.com and click on the Product Support tab to find additional videos related to use and service of your DSi burner. Thank you for assuring our products are installed and serviced in a safe and professional manner.